Have you ever gone to a restaurant or have seen delicious crepes that might have fruit on them and cream cheese? Well, that's what we're going to make today. Welcome to Southern Glance with Gail. Hi, I'm Gail. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to make the best crepes ever. Gary and I went to a restaurant and there on the menu was some crepes and they had strawberries and cream cheese and they were so good. I had to try them. And after trying them, I thought, I'm going to find out how to make these crepes. And I did. So I'm here to share it with you. I actually found, and this has three parts to it. So it's, first of all, the crepes. Second of all, the cream cheese filling. And the third part are the strawberries. So I'm going to start with the strawberries because that's what you need to do in advance. You can go to the store, go to Walmart, and buy the frozen strawberries and just thaw them out. The frozen strawberries with syrup. And just thaw them out and that would do fine. This is what I did early this morning. I took strawberries. I think it's probably four cups of them. Four cups of strawberries. And I put one-fourth of a cup of sugar in them. I did not stir it. I just sprinkled the sugar on top of it. And I put a covering on top of it, put it in the refrigerator, and let it set for several hours, probably about eight hours. And this is what you get. You get all this juicy stuff over here, and it just tastes really good on top of these crepes. So we're going to just set this to the side. So that's the first part that we do. Second part, we're going to make the filling because the filling, whenever you make crepes, you need to have everything done before you do the crepes because the crepes go kind of fast. So we're going to do the, the filling. Now, if anybody has watched the video about possum pie, I took some of that recipe from the possum pie and that's what we're doing the filling with. So we're going to actually take eight ounces of cream cheese and we're just going to dump it in the mixer like that and got some stuff on the mixing thing. Let me wipe it off. Okay, and so that was eight ounces of softened cream cheese. And then we're going to just add two cups of powdered sugar. So we're going to dump that in this mixer. Let's see if I can get that. And then we're going to mix that, and we're just going to kind of let it go for a few minutes until it gets really good and soft and creamy together. If it's not, if it is not the consistency, if it's not really creamy and it's still kind of thick, we're going to just use a little bit of milk. Okay, so we're going to try this first and get that going. And we're going to, we're going to uh, beat it on low speed for just a few minutes. So we're probably going to fast forward this. Um, but you'll know it's not a set time how much you beat it. Just look at it and see if it's as creamy as you want. But it needs to be all mixed together. And I probably, I'm probably going to mix it about three minutes. So here we go. Slow speed. The scrape it. Make sure that everything is off there, and we might even, after the um, powdered sugar is mixed in a little bit, we're going to um, make it go a little bit faster, but we don't want to sling the powdered sugar out. Okay, can you see that the powdered sugar is still under there? It's not quite um, mixed in, but I am getting faster and, fast and faster with the mixture, but it's still kind of very stiff. So let's keep going. And we're going to beat it a little bit faster, scraping ever so often.
Okay, that looks pretty good. That's still kind of thick for what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of milk in there. And this is probably, this is too much, but I'm gonna just pour just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon. And we're gonna mix that again. And now let's see how, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get this out. And we're going to move the mixer. We're going to just kind of set this aside. And I'll, I'll work on that later. But we've got the, we've now got the cream cheese. Okay, so now that we've got the cream cheese done, I actually took it out of the, the mixing bowl and I put it in a nice little dish. And we have a spoon here, so we're going to set that aside with the strawberries. So now for the crepes. And this is the fun part. So we're going to just go ahead and get our blender out. We're going to put in two eggs. We're just going to dump it all in. And it's just kind of fun to do. We're going to get two tablespoons of melted butter. quite melted. It used to be, but I was trying to get ready for all this. We're going to put in one and a fourth cups of milk. We're going to put in one fourth cup sugar. We're going to put in one cup flour. See how this is? It's just fun to do. And one fourth teaspoon salt. And now we're going to close the blender and put it on here. We're going to blend this up for about two minutes. And we're going to. Let's scrape down the sides and see how it's doing. And it's looking really good. Okay, let's blend it a little bit more. Okay, and I did get two ingredients wrong. So it's only one tablespoon of sugar, and it's one half teaspoon salt. So, sorry, but... Okay, I think this is done. We're going to go take it over to the stove, and we're going to see what we have to do there. All right, so now we are at the stove. We're going to go ahead and spray our pan with cooking oil. And we're also going to put in about one half teaspoon butter, just a little bit of butter. And we're going to get this, we're going to turn it on about medium high. Now, if it gets too hot, just turn it down a little bit. But we're going to wait until that butter kind of sizzles a little bit. And whenever it starts sizzling, we're gonna put in about two to three tablespoons of the batter. Or we can put in just a little bit under one fourth of a cup, which is easier than measuring out two or three tablespoons of batter. And then we're only gonna, as long as we can kind of get this a little bit hot where the butter is melted, and I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit to get it going. But the butter has to be melted and it's gonna start sizzling just a little bit. You don't wanna put in the batter too soon um, but you want to put it in just about right. Crepes are not anything that you want to just make and, and take someplace because they don't taste good cold. You need to make them and eat them. And, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make these and then we're going to eat these. This is, um, it's going to be a nice little treat for, for supper. Okay. So anyway, here's the butter. We're just going to wait a little bit. Okay, it's almost ready. All right, so as you noticed, I kind of made the butter kind of go around in all areas of here. And you can, um, I can see it kind of steaming just a little bit. And you do not want to leave the stove once you are doing this. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And I'm going to turn down my heat just a little bit. So this is one half 
or one fourth of a cup. And as soon as I put it in, I'm gonna just kind of swirl that around and we're gonna let that cook. And so here we go. It's already starting to cook on the bottom of it, but you can kind of see maybe it will start bubbling and we're gonna use um, a silicone spatula whenever it gets ready. We don't want it to cook too long and we don't want to get it too brown, but we want to get it so that it is done. And then we're going to immediately, as soon as we're done with this, we're going to immediately put it on a plate and we're going to serve that. And then we'll just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until we have everything. But I'm going to just show you at least one. We've got a plate ready to go. And see, I don't know whether you can see it steaming, but it has little bubbles around the side of it, but it's not very many bubbles. So I was telling you that we use the cream cheese icing or the cream cheese, and, and we actually use that in the possum pie recipe. Um, and so sometimes you can take these recipes, different segments of different recipes and make them to what you want. Okay, I don't know whether you can see it or hear it. I'm gonna be quiet. It's sizzling, so it's getting done, but it's not done on the back of it. But notice how it just kind of moves around. This is just a skillet. It's a KitchenAid skillet that does not stick. So you, you do want something that doesn't stick. You don't always have to put butter in it the first time, but I mean, um, you do have to put butter in it the first time, but after you cook the second time, you might not have to put butter. It might be already ready for you. Okay, let's see how the bottom looks. Not quite ready, but there's a bubble right there. I'm not gonna do anything with the bubble. Just gonna let it set. And we're gonna flip it. I wish I could just flip it in the air, but I can't. I can do that with omelets. We'll have to do an omelet um, video. That would be fun. Then I could flip it in the air. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna actually use two spatulas and let's see how it's, how it's looking. Okay, it's not quite done on the bottom, so we might even flip it back in a little bit. But see how that brown stuff is, that brown spot? That's what you kind of want, but you want a little bit more of it. So I'm gonna kind of press it down very, very lightly. And it does not take very long. So if you wanted this for you and your husband or your family, you might have two or three pans going so that you could do it all at the same time. Okay, it's getting done on the bottom. It didn't take that long. And we're gonna flip it one more time because I didn't get it quite done enough on the top of it. Okay, ready to flip some more. Oh, doesn't that look great? That looks yummy. Okay, I think we are done. And look at that. We're gonna go ahead and start one more. <clears throat> and this time I'm just gonna pour. You see how it sizzles? Okay, so that's another one. We're gonna go ahead and take this one over and we'll get that one started in just a few minutes. We'll get this one cooking too. Okay, and after you start getting these done, it seems like they get faster and faster with getting um, getting brown. So you really have to watch them. You cannot go any place because it only takes, see, look at that. It's already setting up. Might have put a little bit too much batter, but it still tastes good. So I imagine this probably makes about 10 to 12 um, omelets. I mean, not omelets, I'm sorry. 10 to 12 crepes and look at the bottom of it and see so you can yep it's it's doing good let's take this over here and kind of separate it a little bit and i'm going to turn down my heat just a little bit but that's what you want like that Okay, I think it's almost done. See, that didn't take very long at all. 
Okay, so now we have two crepes done. We still have more batter, but we're gonna go ahead and finish this up so that you can see how the, bat how the crepes are. We're gonna put on, we're gonna put the cream cheese right in the middle, kinda like that, and you can even spread it out, but we're only gonna put it on one, one side of it because we're gonna flatten, we're gonna um, um, take this crepe and we're gonna just flatten it over just like that. After we do that, we're going to put some delicious strawberries on it with some juice. And there you have a wonderful crepe. Let's do this one. We'll put this on one side of it and spread it out. Now, how many of these can I eat? Like 10. I can eat the whole thing, but I do have to share with my honey. So I hope that you are inspired to try this delicious recipe. Let me get this out. And there you have it. Crepes with strawberries. And thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos. Thanks for watching.